Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, after defeating another match game, that means we've got some new stuff unlocked and now look at this, this cabin here. Clubmaker's Huts. Let's go in, shall we? By the way, there's a one-off mushroom in here somewhere. If you'd like to pick it up. Hey, you want me? The club maker? To look at your club? Yeah, sure, why not? Check my driver out. Where to start? It's pretty well balanced, but my club makes your game unique. Wanna try one? Uh, sure. What kind of club would you like? So, you get a, a choice between clubs here, but you can only choose one. And you cannot change your choice once you choose it. Now, uh, I'd always recommend the distance club here, because the control club, if you're hitting straight already, it doesn't make much of a difference if you have the control club. The control club is just going to reduce your drive, and that's how you'd reduce your drive if you wanted to reduce your drive, I guess. <laughs> but I don't see why you would want to, so distance club for me it is. But remember that the distance club um, reduces your accuracy on drives, but chances are if you're you know, on the drive, you have more forgiveness than you do aiming for a green anyway. So this will also give you the opportunity to hit off the fairway with a driver because you have more power with your driver and thus it circumvents the, uh, the lie issue of hitting a driver off the fairway. I'll keep your club here. Come back for it anytime. So yeah, you can swap out the clubs if you'd like to, but I am going to be... Ghost fire is in your eyes. You're worthy of wielding my work, but chances are I'm going to be keeping this club until the ends of time. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, that, that one, that's, that's a tricky little side game, and maybe I'll hold off on doing that until a little bit later, um, oh no, Windy Valley Hole 2 opened up! I'm not going there either, I'm gonna go to the Lynx Club. <laughs> so, the Lynx Club, this is one of the hardest courses in the game. There are great golfers everywhere, that's a grand championship for you. Even after playing it many times, Lynx is still hard. If you can't master Lynx Club, you won't be genius. I'll be the one to be genius and no one else. Uh, okay, let's play a game in the tournament! about that tournament, <laughs> my grandpa interrupted me in the middle of it, so I decided to restart it from the beginning. So, here we go, club tournament for the Lynx Club, let's get it started. So, uh, this place, this place, pretty dang tough course. Yeah, see all this grassy stuff? See this stuff? That's Heath. And you do not ever want to put your ball into that if you can help it. By the way, uh, you'll be able to see the difference between my driver now. Look at that. Look at how much difference it is between my uh, uh, three wood and one wood there. You can just, just, yeah, there's a pretty big gap there, but the added distance will be helpful in most cases. So, let's fire one off to that side of the fairway, hopefully, and not get any heath. By the way, you'll also notice that there's these flat parts, parts of the fairway that don't have any lines on them, they're called fast fairway, and they're faster than regular patches of fairway, and thus they can kind of trap you by putting you in bunkers and stuff just like that, but usually you can use them to your advantage. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get myself on the green here, just as long as I'm not in the heath. <laughs> Well, that's not that big of a deal, I guess, because I'm really close to the green. But you can see how much power it cuts off the ball. Uh, I'm gonna hit about there, I guess. It's just just a really educated guess here. <laughs> just sort of averaging it out in my mind, and I got myself a par. Just out of curiosity, does this still? Yeah, it does still show the birdie badges that I got on my uh, uh, canceled run of this <laughs> course. So that's that's okay though. Anyway, let's see what I can do here. Uh, it's not in the heath. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> I just never know what's gonna land in there for sure. But I always aim away from it if at all possible. But sometimes it's 
it's hard to avoid not making a shot over some heath or around some heath or something like that. I don't think this is going to be on the green, but it's going to be pretty close. Um, 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 oh, 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 okay, we're good. <laughs> Actually, I'll putt here. Uh, let's see the break. Uh, I'll aim about there and hit about here. Hope for the best. Uh, oh, that was close. <laughs> I didn't really expect to get it in, but I was hoping. <laughs> Alright. There's a birdie. And this par 3, pretty mean. Not because of the heath. The heath is just there mostly for detail. But if you look at the green, it slopes away from you. And when the pin's in this location, it's uh, pr pretty hard to get close on this thing. I'm going to try and hit it there. And uh, just let the wind sort of kind of push it over to... That's going to go in the bunker. Ah, well. Um, let's see if I can chip it in. Maybe I'll have a better chance getting it in there. Rather than trying to get on green with a long putts or something. I don't know. Uh, no, I doubt it. <laughs> There's a lot of break there, so it might roll even closer to the hole. Like, look at that. Look at that thing go. <laughs> mm, go, 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 go. There we go. Oh yeah! Alright. Mm, huh. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of Zelda characters in this board. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, let's move on here and go to the next hole, which I'm already at, that I'm already swinging to! I don't know why I was even saying going to, because I was already there. I don't know, I was just kind of in a train of thought, and I felt the need to go with that train of thought. This hole is, uh... Not as hard as it might look with all the little hazards just strewn about the fairway. The reason why is because if we go back here, you'll see that there's like a whole bunch of stuff that'll push you in the right direction. Like the, all this sloping stuff here. So yeah, it's not, not as difficult as it might look at first glance. As you can tell, I just put my ball right in the fairway without too much issue. <laughs> um, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna put it like there, because the, the break of the green is going to push it towards the hole. At least, that's what I'm assuming. It should do so. And... Uh, hmm. Well, that was too far left. <laughs> but I can still make this birdie putt, if I can somehow read the ridiculous amount of break on this green. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little bit too high. Not too close. Uh, not too bad, though. Because it was close. I was gonna say not too close. I don't know. Anyway, another hole beaten. Another hole is up next. <laughs> uh, um, um, uh, this is this is one of those sorts of risk reward holes because this this par four is relatively long, but hitting into the middle of this stuff with all this fast fairway could potentially put you in some trouble. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is fire the ball off about there and try to get it between this tree and this patch of heath uh, by bouncing it off the fast fairway. Wish me luck! <laughs> we'll see if the fast fairway here... Well, it's not labeled fast fairway in this game. Oh, perfect, perfect! But yeah, it's labeled fast fairway in later versions of Mario Golf, but it doesn't have that name here. I just call it the fast fairway because it's, it was dubbed that in future versions of the game, and it makes more sense because it's, you know, a faster part of the fairway, so I might as well just call it by its future name. Mm, that's not bad. I don't think I'll be putting into any break. Let's just smack that into the hole, hopefully. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Next hole, number six. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's a pretty easy landing area. But, I don't want to get into the heath in front of the green, if I can help it. So I'm going to put backspin on the ball, make the ball go higher, and get it up and over the heath, hopefully. Yeah, that works nicely, and OH MY GOD! <laughs> oh yeah! Let's just, uh... Not chalked it up to luck there, even though it kind of was, and move on to the next hole here. <laughs> so it's a pretty long par 4 here, so I'm going to use the fast fairway to my advantage and try and get as much distance out of my drive as I possibly can. 
with my newfangled power club here. It shouldn't be too difficult to get on the green in two. Uh, although it's it's still, you know, it's still a long shot to the green, so I'm gonna have to run it up to the hole. And to an extent. Like I still wanna make a go and land as soft as possible. Uh mmm. Mm. I don't know how close I am to the green there, because I, I didn't roll onto the green at all, it just rolled partially up to it. See, when I roll off the green from landing on the green, I know about how far I'm in the semi-rough, because the semi-rough really stops the ball quickly. But since I landed in the semi-rough, I don't know if I should be putting or chipping here. Now, uh, let's see my angle here. I think I'm gonna try a chip. Alright, let's try it there, and hit it about there. Let the wind push the ball to the hole. Uh, that's not bad, I just could have hit it a couple notches further and that would have been in. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't want to risk doing a putt and leaving myself even shorter. You know, trying to get cute with it and getting it as close to the hole as possible. Um, mm, this is another risk-reward thing because it's a par 5. I'm gonna aim over on there and I'm not gonna aim for the green in two shots this time. I'm gonna play it safe. This is the Lynx Club, it's it's an evil place, and uh-oh. Seriously, I tried playing it safe and I got in the heath? Really? Really, and by the way, you don't even try a wood in this stuff. Look at the, look at how much power it cuts off when you use a wood in this. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna hit it out there and uh, get it out there as far as I can with the two iron. I mean, I guess I could use the power shot there, but... Uh, I, I don't think it's gonna be worth it, because I'll still be able to make the green in three here. So, yeah. Uh, let's put it right about there. And hit it at full. The wind combined with my not-so-perfect lie should cut off enough power to be in about... Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> and plop her in. Oh, yeah. Next hole! Oh! Five under through eights. I'm pretty sure I'm, I've got a pretty good pace going here. Uh, let's try and get it between the bunker and the heath just above the cursor. Because it's another long par 4 and I'm gonna need all the distance that I can. Uh, oh, 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 that's gonna roll in the bunker. Dang it! Yep, because when it catches a slope like that, the angle, it's gonna go where the slope points it to. Hmm, let's try aiming, no, 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 that's a little risky with the tree, there we go, and, no, oh, I miss hit, <laughs> it's not gonna make the green, yeah, that's what I thought, because it's gotta carry that bunker in front of the green, and I, I wasn't really in a good position to carry the green, I mean, carry the bunker, excuse me, carry the bunker to the green, I should say, alright, uh, let's that looks like a good angle. Let's try and bump and run it into the hole. Oh no! <laughs> so close though. All right, that's nine holes. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. And wow, Genius is doing pretty well. And I'll see you in the next part when I probably win this tournament. <laughs> Do-do-do!